That's it. Okay. So we're just injecting. We've gone through the skin into the cord, and it feels kind of woody in the cord. Are you okay? Yeah. You will feel a little bit, and I'm injecting about a third of the the dose, which requires a little bit of skill. Because you're injecting into something that's pretty solid. So that's one third in there. That's gone really, really well. Well done. So I'm in the same hole. I'm coming back a little bit. Injecting immediately. Hang in there. It's only a pinprick. It'll only be a second. Again. It's not completely pain free. You do feel it, don't you? <laughs> but you must tell me if you feel an electric shock in your fingers. That's yeah. the crucial thing, although it shouldn't happen. And then we're going to go a little bit behind. So our, our, our entire dose, let's get the absolute depth right. Our entire dose is spread in three separate areas. Okay, we're coming out. All right, I'll put that there. I'll dispose of that sharp in just two seconds. Just give it a little bit of pressure for a second. Okay. Okay, stop. Okay, so we're going to manipulate this uh, finger now. And there's a little bit of local anaesthetic in there. There's some caracane, which is a long acting local anaesthetic. A little bit of gauze over the head, and hopefully, we'll hear a noise that'll sound like a carrot snap. You may have heard that. So this is a finger that previously wouldn't extend, and you can see it's extending, I don't want to twist your arm, the way it won't go, it's extending right back. So we can see in the palm here, where there was Dupuytren's disease, where there was a hard core, have a quick look. See there was a cord there, wasn't yeah. there? That's all gone. So the Xyapex has dissolved that. I'm just going to straighten this other finger a little bit, see if that will come a little bit, because you remember that one had a slight tightness. That's given as well now. So that's a successful treatment. We can now hyperextend that knuckle joint by about 30 degrees. Just do it a little bit more there. And that's done. So now we're going to do, so we're going to put a light dressing on this now and just keep it splinted overnight. There's no slit in the skin, but you can see a slight change in the skin there where we've straightened it out a little bit. And there's a little bit of bruising and swelling around here, but that should go within a day or two. That's good. How painful was that? No, it didn't go. Did you felt the injection? I felt the, I felt the injection, yeah, but yeah. I didn't feel any okay. when you pulled it. About. Well, I think that injection will last, as I said, till tonight when you go to sleep. And when you wake up in the morning, there will be a little bit of an ache. But you should be able to drive tomorrow. Okay. Great. To do is to open and close your hand for me. As far as you can go comfortably, and then open it up. And just do it again a couple of times to see how your hand moves. Okay, and then just turn your head over and try, turn your, and try and hold your fingers up as far as they'll go up. That's great. 